What's up guys, welcome back. It is another day, it's another daily sessions, but today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to flare or what I do when I flare, just to kind of give you guys some tips. I've been asked a lot on the internet lately, just like how to do them, and I haven't ever made a how-to video on how to flare, so let's do it. So first of all, I feel like you should be able to backflip if you want to try flares. It's not necessary, but it does help. Um, it's good to just know how to like flip because basically that's what you're going to be doing is a flip 180 in the air. Um, I find that when you're learning, it's nice to have like a pretty poppy quarter just because it does a lot of the work for you. You don't have to huck too much and yeah, it just makes it a whole lot easier. But find a quarter that you're really comfortable with, um, you know, air it a few times. And then basically what I like to do is just pump with my legs, pop back on about like a 45 degree angle. So like when I'm hocking it, I hock there, like on that angle. And just try and drop my shoulder down that way, look back up this way, and just kind of pull in into a ball, and that helps you flip. So I'm gonna do one just to demonstrate. All right, so that's basically what I'm gonna run you through today. Um, if you notice, I'll replay the clip again. When I'm taking off, I pump, I push away with my legs when I get to the top of the ramp. And then once I pop, I pull into like a ball and then that speeds my rotation up and then I open out again so that I'm like spotting my landing. And also, I'm gonna go into a bit of, I'm gonna go into depth while I'm trying to explain this because you can do a flare like a million types of ways. And I feel like the best way is if you like kind of pop off and you're landing back in like facing down. So you can do a flare and, and land back wheel, front wheel. Not ideal, but it, it's how I learned to flare first. Like I used to do flares and land back wheel, front wheel. But if you want to perfect them, I'd suggest like kind of spinning into it and landing good. So I'm gonna try and tell you how I do that. If you're just starting off, the objective is to just do a flare, like a flip 180 air. Don't even worry about trying to perfect it or anything. Just try and land the flare first. Um, and basically, just follow those rules. Pump, puck, the flip 180 at an angle about there. Try and spot your landing. Um, and she'll be bloody right, mate. <laughs> um, oh. All right, let's go over to the quarter part. Is, this the, is it recording? On, like what type of quarter you're flaring it, it will change how like the angle you kind of take off with. But with this quarter, it's kind of a steeper quarter compared to this quarter that I just flared. So you get to see the angle that I'm taking off with. It's pretty much the same, but you take off on kind of more of an angle so that you're not landing as flat, but you're still trying to do more of a flip. Hopefully that gives you a better, you know, insight at what kind of angle you should be taking off or, you know, how I take off that might help you. Um, I feel like the whole takeoff has a big thing to do with how you're coming into land. So when I take off, I kind of take off on that angle and I kind of spin my back end out and then flip. So it's kind of like a barrel roll. And then at the last kind of second, I like turn in and then that's when you start to turn in with the transition of the ramp and you can land smoothly and go away. The, um, hopefully that gives you a better you know, insight at what kind of angle you should be taking off or you know, how I take off that might help you. Um, I feel like the whole takeoff has a big thing to do with how you're coming into land. So when I take off, I kind of take off on that angle and I kind of spin my back end out and then flip. So it's kind of like a barrel roll. And then at the last kind of second, I like turn in. And then that's when you start to turn in with the transition of the ramp and you can land smoothly and go away. So if you're finding that you're doing like a flip and you're doing like a flip 180 and you're landing back wheel first and just like chopping hard like this, Try play around with 
that first initial hop and takeoff where you kind of flip, spin a bit and kind of barrel and then at the last second you kind of turn into the transition. Um, kind of think of it like a, a really dipped 540 um, if that's gonna, well, it should kind of help you do more of a spin than a flip 180 and chopping, so hell yeah. <laughs> flare got a bit whirly but um I was gonna say doing flares it takes a long time to kind of perfect it but try and do it on everything I remember when I was learning flares I just seriously tried to do it every skate park every ramp and um, I was a little bit obsessed with flaring stuff and flares are like my favorite trick to do so I guess it's kind of how I got all right at them don't make me fall so if you have a resi ramp at your disposal, I suggest using a resi. Um, it's pretty much the same deal except you've got a mat to land on and it's much safer. Um, also, if you have a foam pit, that's also another thing that will help. Um, if you do fly out flares just to kind of get the feeling of spinning while doing a flip, that does help. So yeah, try that. You always get little bits of foam stuck on you, like this. Yuck. But there's one thing that I want to say when learning things is I always find it really good to visualize it in your head and then you know visualize it a lot. Like I think about stuff all the time when I'm like going to sleep. I can't sleep because I'm thinking about doing tricks and all these things. But anyway, visualize it and take things in like baby steps. So whatever you're kind of comfortable with, like progressing your way towards the trick. So, you know, for example, taking it to the pit first, slowly trying to flip. If you're not getting the 180 enough, just keep going and trying to spin more. You need to spin more to get the 180. Like just work it out in your head, visualize it and do it. Okay. So one thing that I get um, asked a lot and that I see a lot is how do I pull away from flares and like how do I pop out because you know someone goes up does a flare and they're landing really far towards the coping and you know it's not really what you want to do it's going to be hard to pull a flare you're not going to get the most speed out of it all this stuff but basically it all comes down to pumping at the start and and just pushing away from the ramp so what I like to tell people is, you know, do an air and just try and pop out to flat as much as you can. Just try and pop out to literally the floor. <laughs> and then that's basically how I kind of pop when I do a flare. I just pop flat. But, you know, if you're going fast enough, that speed should take you up into the air and take you higher rather than flat. So it equals it out. Well, you know, that's how it works in my head. If I got a steep quarter, I need to either spin off it less or go hell fast at it and just pop the same. And then it kind of equals out that I'm landing good. <laughs> so, as you've just seen, like, as I'm about to take off, I like pump down and just pop up as my front wheel kind of hits the coping, I just push on my back wheel and then that just throws me into the quarter more. So yeah, that's basically how I do it. Oh, whoa, hold up. There's actually a cheat code that I created. If you want the cheat code, there's a link in the description down below where you can buy one of these daily session shirts or singlets, depends which one you want. And um, it helps you with pulling out with flares or something. I don't know, it's just, they're sick. Link down in the description if you want to get one. Okay, so that's a few tips on how to flare. Thank you, Mimi, for filming. Nux, bro. Um, and yeah, so there's a few tips. Make sure you pop out good. Take off on a good angle. If it's a steeper quarter, use more angle so that you're not you know, pulling out as much. Helps you kind of stay towards the ramp. If you're flaring and you're staying more towards the ramp, you need to pump out more. Um, Take it in baby steps, use a foam pit, use a resi if you got it. And that's pretty much it. 
I hope you succeed. And if you already can do them, I hope you get better at them through these tips that I'm giving you. And thanks again for filming, babe. <laughs> Um, I think I might get a few clips before I start work. I'm literally about to start work in five minutes. So I'll try and get a few clips. Later that same evening. Swipe up. <laughs> Thanks for watching make sure you like comment share and subscribe leave me a comment down below if this has helped you because i'll really appreciate that Peace.